Hey guys, welcome back. When we left Diff, we made it through the sewers. We are now in Sector Zero, and the Saviors sold us out. They sent Royce's men in after us in the sewers, but we made it alive, and here we are. I kind of did that backwards. Probably should have said that they sold us out before I said that we made it here, but you know, when is anything I ever do made sense? It never has. But yeah, we're going to talk to Troy now, who is supposedly going to help us out. And as you can see, how was Von Jade? What the hell did Crane's hand just do? What the hell was that? Did I, did I just see that, or was that a thing that just happened? Hey, you're Crane, right? I am yeah, Michael. That's me. It's I'm me. Michael. Troy's waiting for you in the loft. Good to have you here, Crane. Your accent seems really put on. I'm not gonna lie. It's like when America people do that really stereotypical like British voice, or even when British people try and do the stereotypical British voice, and it sounds really stupid. Crane, <laughs> it's a pleasure, mate. Uh, I'm Savvy. Need anything technical? I'm your man. Almost rigged a way to break through the chrome jamming. Come on, say hello to Troy. Hey, I'm Kyle Crane. It's good to finally put a face with the voice. You're looking for Jade Aldemir, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen her? I mean, you know where she is? Jade, this is Troy. Do you copy? Go ahead, Troy. Jade? Hey, it's Crane. Now, I know you're headed for Dr. Camden, but his clinic's surrounded by zombies and Rise's thugs, so just let me come and help you. Crane. Stay away from me. I hear your voice, and all I can see is my brother. Please, just hear me out, okay? Look, the thing is, the GRE hired me, all right? I was supposed to find out where Rise sent this this classified file, but, but that doesn't matter anymore because the Ministry contacted me. Jade, they were going to firebomb the city, but I talked them into waiting because they want that research that you're carrying. Now, we need to figure out some way to let them know that we've got it. Jade? Jade! Damn it. Crane, the last time I spoke to her, she was at the university. It's due east from here. If what you just said is even a little bit true, you will have to find her. I think I just made a bad first impression. <laughs> you know, I kind of said my whole bit and right in front of him, you know. Where the hell did Savvy go? Savvy? Bye, Savvy, I guess. You down here? Oh. Yeah? What is it, Savvy? Rise brought some of his shock squads to Old Town. They've only been here for a few weeks, but they're doing a lot of damage. They're launching raids and terrorizing survivors at every opportunity. It seems Rise officially ordered them to be as brutal as possible. Yeah, he likes people to know he's in town. They're well fortified. In addition to their headquarters, they're using two staging grounds to gather supplies. I'm told they've amassed quite a haul. I could use some supplies. Ah, oh, you'd be doing us all a very big favor. Where are the outposts? One's in an office building, and the other is in the radio station. Uh, maybe I'll pay him a visit. Okay. Difficulty. Hard. Oh, this should be fun. This should be real fun. Let's check out our quest. Okay, we've got quite a lot. I take it that's... They're the outposts, okay? And these were back in the old area. So, who cares? Because I'm not going to talk to Tolga and Fatim because they're annoying. And that searchlight's quest is never happening. And Gunslinger, who even cares about that? Okay, so where's the university? Let's check how close that is. It's not even that far. And what about the radio and the other office outposts? Okay, they're down there, but I think they're both going to be down there, aren't they? So take it... Yeah, that's what they are. Okay, so let's go and do them, shall we? <laughs> if they're hard, then this should be great. Um, who do I hand the stuff to that I got from that airdrop? Look, his hand did it again! I'm not just imagining things. It's like spazzing out. It's like crippled. What the hell is that about? Hey, Michael, you don't want to talk to me? No? Okay. <laughs> cool beans. What is this down here? Is there more people here? Just below me somewhere? Are they right at the bottom or what? Oh. Apparently I'm level with it now. Oh yeah, I guess I assumed the door was up there somewhere. I just didn't see it, but who even cares? For the time being. We've got no reason to go there. 
Where we do need to go, though, is to this goddamn office to kick some ass. Because no doubt, this can be hard as balls. Granted, balls aren't very hard, but... Troy here. Hey, Troy. Copy. What is it, Troy? Savvy has an idea how to break through the radio jamming and contact the outside world. He'll be working on that while you're busy looking for Jade. Okay. I'll be in touch. He already told me about that. And oh, hello. <laughs> Avoid the infected if you can, okay? They've always been dangerous. But now, they're mutating into something even more deadly. That's great. <laughs> They're mutating into something even more deadly. That's great, exactly what I wanted to hear. How the hell are we getting in here? It's like an impenetrable fortress over here. Apparently he didn't want to climb over those barrels, but... Oh, jeez! Okay, so we either need to find a way in through the roof, or we need to go across our electric, like, flooring. Oh, this is way better, because you can climb almost everything here. Oh, I like this. This area is cool. There aren't oh, stupid buildings that you can't even possibly climb. Okay, it looks like we can make that jump. So let's head over there. And... Oh, why did you stop sprinting? Oh, Jesus Christ. I think I kind of ran a sprint just before the jump. That could have been freaking fatal. Or is there... Apparently there's a guy with a flipping big banging weapon up here by the sounds of things. Yeah, noise draws attention to the virals. Cool, beans. Who cares? Oh, that is unfortunate that he fell down on those spikes. Most unfortunate for that, sir. Okay, so there should be no zombies in here, really. Especially since this is Royce's outpost. But it sounds like there's something going on somewhere, which isn't pleasant. Oh, he's taking the lift down, I take it? Oh, I thought it was coming up then. Okay, hold have to get inside the offices. Let's go and do this, shall we? Savvy told me about the office building turned into the rise of us or other person. I'm tempted to make an inspection there. Well, that's currently what you're doing, Crane. Making an inspection. <laughs> As you put it. Okay. Now, we want to kill everyone here, so... No point being quiet about it. I love how they made the exact same noise. That's great. Ooh. Uh-oh. This really seems like an office building straight out of Mirror's Edge. I'm not going to lie. Making a lot of Mirror's Edge comparisons today, but it's true. It really is. It really is true. Look at it. It really is a Mirror's Edge kind of office building. You know, the white and one primary like color. You know, very reminiscent of Mirror's Edge. Oh, I was just thinking, we probably should have went to that shop that was at the safe house, because then we could have sold all our stuff in that inventory, made big books, and then, like, picked up all these rifles here, and made even bigger books. But that idea just completely was not in my head at the time. Jesus Christ, a lot of gunfire from everywhere here. Get wrecked. Will I? I'll pay for this, will I? Come make me pay them, buddy. Show me the price I have to pay, because you are the game. And do you want to play? <laughs> Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's <laughs> slightly low down. Hey, buddy, you want to stick your head out again? Didn't think so. And the last guy. Hey, buddy. I know you're back here. Why well, you make this easier and just come and show yourself? Come on, buddy. No use hiding. I'm coming to find you. Oh, hello. You didn't expect a guy with the assault rifle to come and find you at some point, did you? But he did. He came and found you and then he killed you. I'm not gonna lie, when did this game turn into a first person shooter? Because this is basically what this section is. Oh, they're trying to like swarm me or something. They're trying to pull some kind of flipping trick on me. Hey, buddy, I seen you running away. I seen ya. I did. I don't seen ya. What are you doing, asshole? Oh, jeez! Take cover, Crane! Holy crap, I got stuck on something, so I panicked. <laughs> Get Rex. Last guy. Yet again. Is he gonna hide? Is he hiding and waiting for me to find him? Oh, buddy. 
You don't want to come down these stairs. Except you managed to survive the first shot, so I'll give you that. You're a tough cookie. You can have that one. Okay, can we leave now? <laughs> that was a lot easier than expected. They said that was going to be a challenge. What challenge, okay? There was no challenge to there. Jane told her I worked for the GRE. And she was so furious she hung up on me. Well, at least I know where to look for her. Thanks to Troy. Crane, I don't think she was furious at you because you work with the GRE. I think it's more the thing that she said right at the start, that don't talk to her because you mind her of her dead brother. That you kind of had a hand in, in a way. Because she told you not to let him do it, and then he kind of did it, and it was kind of your fault, you know? That whole thing that went down that one time. And let's go out and get this other outpost, shall we? The radio station? Now, that shouldn't be a massive building, really. But then again, yeah, it probably will be. It depends on the radio station, I guess. If it's like a BBBC radio station, then yeah, it might be a pretty big building. But, you know, if it's just... Did I really have to waste a bullet to go through them? I probably could have kicked them, I just realized, but you know, I didn't. And that viral's gonna be right on my butt if I don't get moving. Let's just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, more virals. Oh, and two, do ah, what the, when did they become common zombies? Well, not common zombies, but when were they out in the normal world like other zombies? <laughs> then again, we only had a machete when we had to fight them before, so maybe we're better equipped now. And there's a shop here, apparently. And that viral flipping scaled that building like a boss. Holy crap, you were fast. I will give you that, viral. I will give you that on the house. I'm impressed at your skill. But not impressed enough. Okay, so... Apparently there's a guy here that we can sell stuff to. Hey, friend. Hey, how's it going? You've got a dagger. And it's a golden dagger. Does that make it good? Is your golden dagger any good? Um... We'll sell everything that isn't a rare. Yeah, so all this crap. We'll keep the throwing knives. Um, the flares. Can be used for as portable safe zones. What? Why am I already just finding out about this? And look at all these valuables we've got to sell. 3,900? Jesus. And I still notice we haven't done any of the weapon upgrades yet. Maybe we should do that at some point. But so far, I haven't found the need to because, like, you're going to lose the weapon eventually. You're not going to be able to use it at some point. So, I don't know. I just haven't really found a reason to do it. Yeah. Pleasure doing business, buddy. But I need to get on the way to a radio station to clear out some goons. This is... Ri I know I'm making a lot of comparisons to Mirror's Edge. But now I'm going to make a comparison to Assassin's Creed. Because it's reminding me a lot of Assassin's Creed. Not gonna lie. Okay, so I believe this is a radio station. Is this how we're getting in? For this little, like, lost hatch? Doesn't... It looks like we have to head down there. Okay. Oh, hello. How's it going? <laughs> is this where we want to go? Like, which way are we meant to be heading? I know we're meant to be heading down. But there isn't necessarily a safe way down, is there? Unless we, like, do this. But wait, is this way blocked off down here? It totally is! Great. Okay. So the entrance is apparently on this level, but it's in that alleyway down around the back, isn't it? Okay, so let's head round the back. And go oh, you could freaking stay away from me, buddy. Ah. A perfectly placed crack in the wall. <laughs> They'll never expect me coming through there. Okay, so we need to find a way- Ow, the bad wire's hurting my butt. Okay, so we need to find a way to get to this goddamn alley. Is this it? It looks like it. Or you can't even apparently get over it this way. Survivor died. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so... How the frick are we getting in there? We were just on the roof and we didn't see a way up there, did we? Let's head back up, shall we? Come on, Crane, hurry your ass up. They've got a viral rot on our ass. We don't want that thing tearing us up to the building. Okay, we're back up here. Ah, uh, maybe there was an entrance over here that I just didn't bother looking at. But it says the entrance is, like, right underneath me, which makes me think it's down there, but maybe it's just not. Maybe it's inside. Maybe there's, like, a door around here. Maybe it's the whole elevator situation again. Nope. 
Apparently not. Okay. What about this door? Ha ha! Come on. Ooh, what is this? This is a bit fancy. Please get off that crane! Okay. It wasn't in the building with me, it was just coming to bite my butt. If we close the door, we should be fine. I say. I say we should be fine. But is it true? Are we going to be fine? That one is just staring at the door. I'm waiting for it to make the first move. Oh, close the door. Okay, is this the way we want to head? Or is there just literally nothing in here? Okay. I think we could do this in peace. Without the fear of having being attacked. Hmm, okay. God damn it. Doesn't look like we're doing that anymore. <laughs> Unless we can craft them using metal parts. I think we've got plenty of metal parts. So I don't think that should be a problem. Yeah, we've got a lot. We can make a lot of medkits too. Let's make the whole freaking bunch of crap, shall we? Holy crap, it's going to take longer than it should. Just because there's some dumb crafting meter that you have to wait for it to do. Honestly, since you can't be attacked in the pause menu, I don't understand what the point of this is at all. <laughs> I, I guess maybe a multiplayer, like maybe it's a multiplayer thing, because in multiplayer, maybe if you pause the game, it doesn't pause the whole thing, like it doesn't pause for everyone, and um, then you can still be attacked and there needs to be some kind of time of crafting, it can't just be instant. Despite the fact it probably should be, because navigating the menus would be a kind of a pain in the ass when the game isn't paused anyway and the zombies attacking you. So, I don't know. I can't really see a reason for this being a thing. <laughs> Holy crap, it takes a flip, it takes forever though. Okay, now we've got plenty of freaking lockpicks. We've got 45 freaking lockpicks. Holy crap. That's nonsensical. What is in the box? It's a cricket bat. It's not even worth my time because it's flipping uncommon. Okay, now let's find this goddamn entrance, shall we? Okay, so is this the way we needed to go? No. I was wrong about this as well. How many things do I have to be wrong about before I get something right? Ah. Perhaps maybe I was right. <laughs> Just maybe. Just maybe. I was completely wrong. <laughs> Yet again. <gasps> Unless this is open. Ah! Was I right? Did I... Did I guess right? I think I may have done. I think I freaking may have done. Nah, just to wait for my vision to freaking clear up. Because it's freaking nuts over here. Okay, that door is not walkable throughable. That don't make any sense, but... You know. I guess we just keep going? No? What the hell, game? You got my hopes up, and then you dashed them quickly to the ground again. I don't appreciate that. There must be something worth in here. No. Some plastic and cigarettes. That never helped anybody. And some metal parts. That did help somebody at some point, I guess, because it's lockpicks, but... Other than that, not really. Okay. So there's nothing in here either. Like, okay, that makes no sense, but... Whatevs. Where the hell is freaking entrance? Seriously. Like, I feel like I've, like, explored all the possible possibilities. But apparently no. <laughs> apparently there's something I've overlooked See, still. I don't know. Like, we've navigated the whole bottom area. Or not. Because <laughs> I completely missed this, apparently. Oh, and I bet this is where I needed to go, isn't it? No. God damn it! I keep spotting new things and I'm like, get all optimistic about it. And then it proves not to be what I needed anyway. Unless there's something here on one of these levels. I don't know. God damn it, game. Why do you hate me so? Like, come on! What way is that possible? Unless one of those is open. Is one of them open? No. They're not. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna explore that second, like, pull, like balcony area. Oh, hello. Hello, big dude. How's it going? I do not want to be introduced to your hammer, so stay away from me. Ouch! You still managed to introduce me to it, which I'll give you props for. Take some too. 
I don't even... Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you know what? Screw it. Whoever cares. I'm giving up on it. We're going to go find Jade in the next episode. And that's how it's going down. I don't even care. Screw this radio station. We'll do that at some of the time. But uh, as always, guys, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I did that the wrong way around. <laughs> Let's try that over. But as always, guys, I want to... No, oh, fuck it. Jesus, I forgot what I say. Holy crap. You know what? I'm just going to end the video here. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>